Slipper Vic State Championship, beating Lunenburg three to two. Division 5 state final. We have Greenfield, the Green Wave. Uh, they are the number one seed and the home team here at UMass Amherst. And they're facing West Boylston, uh, the number three seed in the Division 5 tournament. So, Alec, today it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great game. Uh, yeah, the watching warm ups, it looked like. Uh, each team is strong defensively, just like uh, last game, I would say that it's going to come down to the wire. Yeah, I mean, and on the mound for Greenfield is uh, Mackenzie Pollen, and we know from the last, uh, on Wednesday when she faced Frontier, she had a no-hitter going, th uh, going through seven innings, seven and one-third inning. So. She also had a no-shut, a uh, shutout going into that, too. Yeah, it was just that by Ashley Taylor, kind of, well at first it was Sophia Bernardi that broke the no-hitter in the seventh, and then it was Ashley Taylor that broke the uh, shutout when the, with the bases loaded. So, Kenzie P Paulin, we know from what we've se seen this season, she's a pretty good pitcher, and Wes Boylson, well, I mean, for them to be the number three seed and for them to be here today, they're definitely gonna be a good challenge. It'll be a good game today. Strike one, and the batter is for West Boylston. West Boylston is uh, number 25, Shaman Luxtra. It's gonna be high for ball one. Evens it up one and one now. So Poland, two pitch, swing and a miss. Strike two. Makes count one and two now. And that one's gonna be in there for ball two, so evens up the count two and two now. So Pollen, two pitch. Ooh, that one looked down the middle, but kind of have a bad angle. So I think it was just a tad too high. So that's going to bring up a full count. It's either a base hit, ball four, is if you're the batter. It's going to be hit back to the pitcher. Kenzie makes a nice play over the first. Woo! So that was a great play there, but it was just kind of hit back to uh, Paulin, and she knocked it down almost at the catch, and threw it up, picked it up, and threw it over to first for the first out. Here comes the pitch, high fly ball, center field. Top. It's going to drop in for a base hit. Kaylin Lavoine's going to throw it in there. 
Great job by Le uh, Lavoine getting in there quick. So that'll be a double though. That'll be a double. By West Boylston. Uh, Maddie Pito. And the batter is going to be Peyton Maloney. And ooh, a little low for a, a ball, so it's going to be 2-0 count for Payne Maloney. And ball three. 3-0 three count, she waves at the fans. Make some noise, I guess. Ball four, she'll take a base. And she'll steal a good heads up base runner by, uh, that was, a uh, shaman, shaman, or Luxtra. And they're gonna have a pinch runner for uh, Peyton Maloney. Um, so her sister steps in over the first, and she has some speed. So man on first and third, one, one out, and Batter's gonna be Lucy Allen, who's catching uh, for West Boylston. Ground ball back to third. She's gonna pick it up. Oh, and an air on the play. Caitlin Boyne. So just unlucky. They were, they, they were gonna look like they were gonna turn turn a double play, and it just was unlucky. So one RBI and still only one out, man on first and third. So same scenario and an RBI there for Allen. And Holland steps in. Here comes the pitch. Grounder over to third again. This time she'll go over to first and get the out. So, great, great play. She does get the RBI, however, so. And that was, yeah. Just worry about the camera. Last batter was Kaitlyn uh, Liberty. She shows a punch, she'll throw it over the first and make the play. Okay, so after the top of the first inning, it is West Boylston striking first. Uh, and they have two RBIs and just one error for Greenfield. So we will go to the bottom of the first and Greenfield, they gotta come out swinging like they did the other night. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Good. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. And Caitlin Lavoine is the batter. Swinging straight along. And on the mound for West Boylston is Peyton Maloney, who got an RBI for her team or was on base. So that's gonna be high for ball one. Evens it up now, one and one. And Kane Lavoine did a good job of. It's gonna be ball two, a good hitters count. What I was saying though was uh, Lavoine 
she had a triple uh, when they faced Frontier. It was just great hit, and she made it to third. So it's gonna be in there for strike two. Evens it up now, two two. Here comes a payoff pitch. Fly ball out of play. So good foul. Good job by Caitlin Lavoine. Stay alive here. And another payoff pitch here. Grounder. And no play. So good job by Lavoine making it to first. They're actually going to call it a foul ball off her leg. The third base um call it a foul uh, ball. I don't know about that call, but. So now. Boylston going to get another chance to maybe make an out. And Lavoine maybe get another hit here. New life. That's just unlucky and a good strikeout there for uh, Peyton Maloney for who's pitching. And that's gonna bring up Carly Blanchard. Here Blanchard. Comes the pitch. That's gonna be right down the middle. Strike one. That was a beautiful pitch down the middle. Yeah, her, that was that was definitely a perfect pitch. Here comes the pitch. Strike two. Swinging. So Maloney looking good out there for Boylston early. Called strike three, two, two straight, two straight strikeouts for Boylston. And now I like to call it Alec Mano y Mano, pitcher versus pitcher. Yeah, we had a fun one last one. Let's see if it happens last like last game. And again, That's gonna be called strike one. So now, uh, Poland is ready, or she's seen it, so. Strike two, swinging. And this could be three straight strikeouts for Maloney. Foul ball, good job by Poland to stay alive. Here comes a good payoff pitch. Count is one and two. Fly ball, foul ball. That would have been a nice hit if it stayed fair, though. The 10th man, or maybe the 11th man in baseball or softball. He's making some noise now. Oh, into the stand. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, Black netting tricks you, doesn't it, Tom? Yeah, it's good. I can't see the net here, but <laughs> there is a net. Looked like it was go heading right towards some fans. Maloney, two pitch. Ball, ball two. A good inside pitch. Tried to get her to chase. So that's going to even up now, two and two. 
Maloney to pitch. Fly ball right field. That one's nice, easy grab. Oh, who dropped it? That's why you always run it out. You never know what's going to happen. Never know what's going to happen. So a double for Poland and Greenfield. Now with a break. And. So now it's going to be Kelsey Richardson, the number four hitter for uh, Greenfield. High for ball one. And an end. comes the pitch. Ooh, tried to get it to chase, another high ball. So 2-0 count. And Maloney's gonna have to wait, work her way back here. But she got ahead in the first couple batters. And Kelsey's gonna wait for hers. That one right down the middle. She's still a little late. So 2-1 count, good hitters count. First and good hitters count that we've seen tonight, too. And Maloney did. Ooh. Still a little, little behind as Maloney's been pitching pretty fast, so. Kelsey's just gotta, what would you do, choke up and try to hit a little early? See the ball and drive it. Ooh. Kelsey doing another great job to foul that one off. So it's gonna be twos. It's gonna be two and two count for Kelsey Richardson. And again, man on second. Here comes the payoff pitch. Ball three. I think that one was a little inside. So now that's gonna bring up the full count. Three, two. And. Again, another, this is exactly what happened the other night. Just these long at bats and Good job by Greenfield staying alive and staying in there. And the crowd and the making some noise. Another foul tip out of play. I think it's like an eight pitch at bat maybe, Alec. Yeah, it looks like the, it looks like it's going that way. Yeah. Well, 10's the magic number, so. You just gotta remember the more they foul off, the more that the pitcher and the batter are getting even more tired. Yeah, and usually at that point, that's when the ball is more likely to get out of the zone when you have those high pitch at bats. Maloney to pitch. Another one, and she's on it. Just gotta straighten it out something. I think that's nine or eight or nine now, so we'll call it the 10th pitch here. I, nah, I lost count. Maloney to deliver. Hard at ball, right, oh, center field. Nice catch. So after one, it is, after one inning, uh, it is Wes Boylston with the lead, two to nothing. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, and Kevin Murphy. So, after one one inning, it is two to nothing, and Poland to deliver. Nice strike one down the middle. And the batter. It's going to be outside and away for ball one, one and one. And Poland to deliver. Hard hit, just that one's good. That was. <laughs> so that, that was good. Good contact. Swing just went foul, little ahead of it, and Poland's deliver. It's gonna be low for ball two, and batter's Olivia Drowner. Strike three, got her. Good job by by Poland, and that's gonna bring up. It's gonna be Zoe Chilla. And Poland to deliver. Hardick ball, but it's right at the third base coach. It's gonna bring up a one and one count. High for ball two. So Poland to deliver. High for, high for ball three. So a 3-1 count, Poland to deliver once more. Hard at ball. Oh, what a catch! What a catch in left field. That was Rachel Dodge with that catch. Holy moly. That was incredible. Wow. What a catch. To that's going to make it two outs. What a diving play. Yeah. You can't, you can't hit the ball any better than that. and no, just You can't feel the ball any better than that. As well. like Because she, she, she had to do something that Frontier's not used to, is worrying about a fence towards yeah. the side of them, too. Yeah. That's going to bring up Sammy Mullins, the batter. And it's going to be uh, strike one in there. It's a one and one count for Sammy Mullins. Hard hit ball again to left field. Another great catch. Oh my goodness. Rachel Dodge on fire on defense. <laughs> so, <laughs> great job by. If you're Greenfield, you're going to only be thanking uh, Do uh, Rachel Dodge for making those two great plays. And that's so that's going to end. What a great defensive one. Three up, three down. We'll go to the bottom of the second. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, and Rachel Dodge, who made those two great catches in left field, is now up to bat. She calls time, so.
And Maloney to deliver. Hearted ball. Oh, back to the pitcher. So that's one out. <laughs> and Ainsley Flynn will be the batter. And there'll be one out. High for ball one. So one. 1-0 count, Maloney to deliver. Ooh. Speed on that one, and a swing and a miss, so evens it up now, one and one. Here comes the pitch, hard at ball, oh, what a snag, wow, whoa. No, she, she was out. That was so quick, I wasn't even get, able to get it. Oh my gosh. So such a, what a hard hit ball to uh, second base. She made a great stop. If that gets through, she, uh, she'll be on. But great stop. Uh, that was by Maddie P uh, Petro. Yeah, that was uh, Riley. Yep, Riley Egan, yep. It was almost like she did a split to get to get, catch it. <laughs> so that'll be two outs, and uh, what a you know those two runs that Wes Boylston got in that uh, first inning could be the slider, Alec. If it just this game continues as is. That's gonna bring up Anna Bacala. With two outs. Strike one. Good uh, swing and a miss, so. Whoops. And Bacala. Ready. Foul tip. Woo. So Alec Maloney with the speed. You know, she's pitching very fast. Oh yeah. Key and, accurate too. Yeah, yeah, fast and accurate. Then that's what you want when it you, it comes to pitching. So Bacala with a 2-0 or 0-2 count. Good hold. Good great eye by Bacala. And Maloney can kind of do what she wants with the next couple of pitches. That's it's a one-two count. Good pitchers count. And Bacala's got to swing at anything close, like that. So another foul tip. Or fouled off by Bacala. If uh, if she gets on, Amber Bergeron will be the batter. Again, two outs, bases empty. Strike three, right down the middle. Great job by, great job, three up, three down on both sides of the, uh, both sides of the diamond? Yeah, both sides of the diamond, by both teams. So we'll go to the top of the third inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. How did that turn? That's oh. right. Oh, oh, never mind. Hard at five ball. Good catch by Caitlin Lavoine in center field. So, one up, one down. And the ba that battle was uh, Katie Kirsten Jr. So. Come on, Maddie! Uh, that's going to bring up. Oh, uh, it 
it's at the batter's gonna be Maddie Petro. Grounder over to first. She'll take it herself and tag the back for two outs. Two pitches, two outs. Maloney, her last at bat, I think she either walked or got a hit. Um, and the, so that was in there for ball one. Whoops, whoops. That's gonna be in there for ball two, a little outside. Oh, he called it a strike. Oh, he called it a strike. Oh, whoops. Evens it up now, one and one, I guess. Grounder! Just goes, uh, just goes foul for the bag, so. It's gonna make it a one-two count for Maloney with two gone. And now, uh, Poland kind of looking like she did the other night. Just locked in. Yeah, Alec, other than that first inning, you know, um, with that error in there, it would, it would I think it would be tied 0 0, but, or 1 0. Nice play. Just an easy grounder, shortstop over to first. And this is what the, the, this is what kind of game we're gonna be looking at. It's gonna be more of a defensive game. And you're gonna have to find the gaps if, when you're up to bat. So we will go to the bottom of the third inning. You're watching the front, so you can access double, and we'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Echo, Al <laughs> Alec Echo, excuse me. And it's gonna be a lefty, Amber Bergeron, up to bat for Green Wave. Her first step out of the game. It's gonna be in there for ball one. It's a good pitch, just a little inside. One out count, Maloney. To deliver. High ball two. That's gonna make it two out count. Amber doing a good job here of just waiting for the pitch that's gonna be inside. Uh, down the sweet spot. Low ball three, three out count. So Maloney's gonna have to work her way all the way back to try to get that strikeout. But we'll see what happens. Yep. So that's going to be in there for strike one down the middle. 3 1 count. And again, Amber's going to just wait for hers if it's right down the middle and take a hack at it. That one's going to drop fair. Rolls foul, though. Smart play by Maloney, not picking it up and letting it go foul. And what do you know, Alec? 3-2 full count. Another good uh, hitter's count. Yeah. We saw a lot of th full counts uh, last game when it was Frontier versus Greenfield. Let's see. Here comes the pitch. Payoff pitch. In the dirt. Ball four. So no outs, and Amber Bergeron reaches first base. That's gonna bring up number nine hitter, Elise. Oh, shows bump, pulls it back. It's gonna be Elise uh, Benitez. So that's gonna be in there for strike one as she did go. Okay. 
Mal so 0 1 count, Maloney to deliver. Shows bunt, pop back, nice catch, double play. Double play. Oh, never mind. Wait, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it was. Nothing you can do about that one, as it was just a pop up bunt. That went right back to Maloney. And you know, just. She she just got a little bit too much under the ball when she went to bunt and yep. just got too much of it. And that'll bring up top of the order, Caitlin Lavoine. She's gonna have to get, re get things going after that double play by Wes Boylston. So Caitlin. And Wes Boylston, his fans making some noise right now after that double play. Lavoine looks locked in. Strike three. Yeah. yeah. So we'll go to the top of the fourth inning. It is two nothing. West Boylston with that lead after they got those two first two runs in um, top of the first. So you go to the break. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. High for ball one. The batter is Lucy Allen and. She's catching for Wes Boylston. Fly ball back to the catcher, so. Just nice pop up, good catch and by uh, Kelsey Richardson. So that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna bring up Caitlin Flaberty with one gone. It's going to be in there for ball one. And again, Paulin to deliver. High for ball two. So 2 0 count. Paulin going to have to. Throwing in there. That's going to be in there for a strike, just like that. 2 1 count. And Caitlin Flaberty. Better. So that one's going to be a foul tip out of play. It's now going to be twos, 2 and 2. So 2-2 two, two count. And Paulin to deliver. High ball three, so just outside of the zone. Tried to get her to chase, and Flaverty did not. Payoff pitch, full count. Foul tip. And just like that. We are talking about it off airs. In softball, you have to react much quicker than in baseball because of where the, uh, the mound is so much closer to the plate. And that's why there's probably more foul tips in softball. High for ball four. So one gone. One gone and uh, Caitlin Flaverty uh, gets on, on a, with a walk. That's gonna bring up Riley Egan. Shows bun, foul ball. So that would have been a good sac sacrifice play by uh, Riley Egan, but 
Just one foul. Oh, one count. Paul and two pitch. Hard fly ball, right field. No play. And that was Rachel Dodd, or that was Ella. Yeah, that was Rachel Dodds in right field. So earlier in the game, I that one's fouled up and over the stands. Oh this gosh! Time. Early in the game, who made those two, you know, amazing catches? That was actually Alice Benitez. Uh, Benitez. I just uh, put left field and right field, mixed them up, because Rachel Dodds in right. Kelsey keeping. Uh, Caitlin Flaberty on her toes up over there at first. And that one's in the dirt, so one two count if if I have that right. Uh, fly ball and Bergeron with a nice catch. So a fly out to Amber Bergeron at first base. And they was out of play anyways, so. That's gonna bring up Olivia Downer. And. It's gonna be strike one swing. A one count for Olivia Downer and Pollen to deliver. Again. So Kelsey did a fake throw. Just again trying to keep uh, Flaberty on her toes. So one and one count. Two and one count. Throws it down. Oh, she's lucky on that throw. She almost overthrew it on that oh. one. Yeah, Kelsey's got to be careful throwing it over to first. I mean, again, you don't want to be making those stakes, mistakes because if you put someone in scoring position. Nice hit. Nice base hit over into right field. And good heads up base. Good heads up base running by Flaberty. So Riley, or Olivia Down, excuse me, gets a base hit to. Right field. No, so if 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 the first baseman didn't catch it on that one, that would have been a, a, a RBI all yeah, day. Yeah, if she overthrew her, uh, Flaberty would have scored. Inside. So two gone, man on first and third, and the batter is Zoe Ch Chilla. Chilla? Hopefully Frontier can get, or Greenfield can <laughs> get out of this. And you might be right. Yep. So, Alec predicted it. <laughs> and that'll end the inning. No damage done. Two left on base. We will go to the bottom of the fourth inning. This game is going very fast. Well, it's what happens when you have good defensive plays. I haven't seen any errors other than the two that uh, Greenfield had. Yeah, and those. And other than that, yeah. they've been good all the rest. Yeah. So if they keep this up, they get their bats up, Green, bats going. Yeah. I think that it should be a good uh, close game. Yeah, and all those first two runs with that, you know, like you said, those errors that can make the big difference in this game. And we're gonna take a quick break. So will they. You're watching Frontier connect to doubles. We'll be right back. Try. Alright, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alan Keckel. The duo. The duo. Back at it again. Batter's gonna be Carly Blanchard. In her last at bat, she struck out, I think, looking. So she's gonna be looking to change that. Maloney. Oh. 
She's gonna beat it out. Yep. Great job in wheels by Carly Blanchard. And it's just a tough play because when it's hit right to you, you wanna grab that. And well, Maloney and if 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 she let that if Maloney just let it through, it could have made a good play at first. So Well the pitcher did a really good job of at least get a glove on it. But yeah. also, if the pitcher didn't get a glove on it, it's more likely that the first baseman or second baseman would have been able to get the ball a lot easier than yep. she would have been. And that, for me, uh... like it's it's always a question in my head: is sometimes is it worth putting your glove out, or should you let the ball go yeah. by and hope that your defensive player would get it? Yeah. Oof, swing and a miss. She kind of pulled her, she did pull her head. So all one count. And yeah, that's one thing I always was good at. I would hit the ball hard on the ground and have to make them make a play when I uh, played baseball. Yep. Oh, Ooh. these are just, I wanted that pitch. I did, yeah, I, I ooh, 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 ooh. that's a pitch that it's just, it could be go the other way. Anyways, mano y mano, Mackenzie Pollen is the batter, pitcher versus pitcher. These are the, my favorite at bats. High hit fly ball, right field, and she won't be able to tag either. Nice catch and nice catch in right field by Olivia Downer. And yeah, so Kelsey Richardson. And the crowd making some noise. Richardson the batter, by the way. Oof. Great pitch by Maloney. Or no, no, she's a four bat, uh, fourth batter. And that's gonna be a ball inside. Evens up the count one and one now. And there's one gone, so we got ones across the board. Richardson, she want, she's looking to get a hold of it. Oh yeah, yep, you're right. It was like a 10, 11 pitch at bat. And she did. I'm not I sure feel like this one could go that way too. Yeah, this, yeah. This one could go that way also. So Maloney to deliver. One, two count. Hard hit ball, right field. That one's gonna drop in for a base hit. Blanchard's gonna take out the third. And Kelsey with a double. What I tell you, Greenfield just had to get their bats going. Yep. And now it's that much closer of a game. And the go-ahead run now at the plate, so a base hit. Rachel Dodge is gonna be the batter. And the, what do you call it, the 10th man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. On their feet. Oof, great eye by Dodge. She dodged that one. <laughs> so 1 0 count. And Maloney to deliver is. This is a big at bat right here. Oh. Ooh, Ooh what an aggressive lead that ends up. It's the second time that Greenfield's. Uh, player off the second has took an aggressive lead. Yeah, and that's that smart heads up, you know, nobody's covering. That's what you want to do because you want to get that extra run in if it's a base hit. So good heads up base running. Hearted ball, right field. That one's going to drop two. One run will score. Richardson rounding third. Shoe go to home. This game is tied.
What I tell you, Tom, all they had to do was get their bats going. Now it's tight, ball game, a brand new game. And yeah, they, all, they can shake those errors off, and it's like they never even happened. And what do you know? Two back-to-back -back doubles, and this by Kelsey Richardson and Rachel Dodge. And with th now th those were Greenfield's first three hits of the game. And they're gonna tack it over, so just kind of what what happened. Um, so this game is now tied. New get, <laughs> new ball game, as it's almost like it's zero zero, but it is two to two. And uh, one gone, man on uh, second is Rachel Dodge at second. That one's down the middle. So Maloney doing a great job to just kind of get her head back. Head on a swivel, as you could say. Just kind of, that's what you got to do in softball. It's just kind of shake what just happened and focus on the batter. And the batter is Ainsley Flynn. Strike two, same spot almost. That was a perfect pitch to swing. Yeah, those that was like, that almost looked like a changeup, but, um, and it, it just looked slower than the last pitch, but Maloney doing a great job of just, with that, she has accuracy, good accuracy. And Ainsley Flynn found that one off, staying alive. Like the Bee Gees song. <laughs> Stand up, stand up. O2 count. And again, Maloney can kind of do what she wants. Uh, she has a couple pitches to to give. Try to get her to chase and swing at something not so good. And all of a sudden, you know, this inning, it's Greenfield's inning. Oh, all they needed to do was wake up their bats, and they did. And now yeah. it's a tight game, and, and they got a runner in scoring position. And another good hitter count. Yeah. And, and and this is the game that you want in this state final. Ooh. And another at bat where they've fallen off a good amount too. And it's been four or five straight strikes, so nothing more you can do. No, honestly no. The only thing that more you could do is if hope the catcher can catch it and it would be a <laughs> foul out, you know. Maloney to deliver. Another one, that one was stayed in play, but uncatchable, you could say. There's, it's almost impossible to make that catch. Again, Ainsley Flynn, the batter, and it's still 0-2, so six straight, five or six, uh, one out. Uh, so five or six straight strikes. Another base hit, almost the same spot, and Dodge, Dodge is gonna score. Uh, as it was just an error. She'll take off the third, and it's a triple for Ainsley Flynn, and Greenfield will take the lead. Yeah, and, yeah, and only one out. Holy moly. You know, you know, it's that bounce that uh, came off of the hit there. That yeah, it wasn't really, it, so it, it was not, by that. yeah, it wasn't an error. It just, that bounce, it took a wrong bounce, and, so an RBI triple for Ainsley Flynn. Now it's a brand new game all over again with Frontier leading or now Green, by Greenfield. One. Or Greenfield. <laughs> 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 it's one of those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus we're not really normally covering Greenfield, so. So left field, good hit by Ainsley Flynn. That'll bring up Anna Bacala, who her last at bat, she, uh, struck out uh, looking again only one out and three back-to-back -back hits two doubles and then dodge with two an RBI double to right field or left field what would be nice to see here is that the greenfield batter choke up get a nice swing and just poke it out into the outfield, let them catch it, and yeah. get that runner in from third, make it a two a two run lead instead. Yeah, all they need. One, one yeah, lead. you're totally right, Alec. It's 
it's gonna be strike two. Uh, I think it's it's a one-two count. If I uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, three and one. Three, three one? one. I don't know. It looked like he held up two, two yeah. fingers in one. So check swing. It's gonna be a ball. I believe now it's ball three. Yeah, I think it's a f full count or three one. It's either three one or full count. Let's see what the um puts up. Must be a three one count. Gra oh, well now it's full. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. After that foul tip. So B Bukala, you know. Frontier, they have four, all their four hits are in this inning. Other, yeah. Other than one walk in the game. So Maloney just got to lock in and stop Trent, uh, Greenfield from scoring that one more run. So I was wrong again. Now it's full count. It has we to both be. were wrong. We were both wrong. Completely wrong. So if you're the batter here in Bacala, you want anything closer to swinging at. And anything outside of the zone, you let it go. And that one's going to be in the zone, foul ball. Just a little, yeah, just a, just a. Just a tad little early on that one. <laughs> little, yep. little weight on it a little bit longer and that would have been fair. Yeah, if that, if that one was fair, it would have been maybe a double or a triple. Because you hit it to right field, and you're likely to get a double unless they get in quick. That one's going to drop in for another hit. So a single by Anna Bukala with an RBI. Bat four hits in a row. Nice level swing, you know, stayed with it. Didn't let the count get in the, her head, and it was a nice RBI blooper. One, yeah, still one out. So it, a, a full count. She fouled the first one off. She just straightened it out, and now it is four to two. Greenfield is on fire this inning. All of a sudden, their bats just woke up. I, and I always say it's always fun with two outs. Oh yeah, you know. Well, only one out though. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, the only it was a fielder's choice. Uh, wait, no, fly out by. Uh, oof. She's trying to kill the ball a little hard, more yeah. than she needs to. <laughs> you can tell she she's trying to hit it hit it far. Yeah, yeah. With that swing, and you want to have a contact swing in this situation. So one 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 and one count, and the batters Amber Bergeron. Hard at ball, that one's gonna drop in for a hit. So, would you look at that? Five hits in a row for Green Wave. And they keep on rolling. You, you, wanna, you do not wanna let this Green Wave team keep rolling. Cause they will take advantage of that. And they'll have a mountain visit. So a mound visit, their, their coach is going to take a quick break. And with a man on first and second for Greenfield, the batter will be Ellis, or Ellie uh, Benitez. So we'll take a quick break. So we'll, uh, they'll take a quick break. So we'll be watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. That's in there for a strike. That one most definitely was. And so nine, number nine hitter, Ella, or Ellie, Ellis uh, Benitez. Sorry for pronouncing that wrong. Man up first and second, only one gone. So, oof. And great heads up base running. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness! I hope you got that, Alec. Yeah, the first uh, third baseman a little feisty there, shoving her off the bag, kind of it looked like. But it's also the Greenfield player who lost their balance, also. Yeah. Whoa. 
but it was a good heads up play. Yeah, and she slid in and then she kind of slid a little late, you know. So now man on, and two guys, in, or two gals in scoring position. And one with only one gone, so all of a sudden, two more runs knocking on the door. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Maloney needs to, she was pitching very well, and this inning, I think it's just got to her. And she's just gotta lock back in and forget about this inning going forward. Well, there you go, just like that. Nice catch by uh, the catcher, Lucy Allen. So when you can't get it done in play, out of play, so great job by Lucy Allen getting that second out. And at the top of the order, so Caitlin Lavoine being the ninth hitter, this, uh, this that's gonna be in there for a ball. And Caitlin Lavoine, she'll be the ninth hitter uh, this inning for Green Wave. So man on second and third still. Two gone and Lavoin gonna wait for hers as it is a 2-0 count. And hard at ball, that one's gonna get through. Another two RBI is, is rounding third and heading home was Amber Bergeron. So two, Kalen Boyne with a single and two RBIs. Green Wave, Alec, this is, this is crazy. No, Green Wave again is off yeah. to a beautiful start, just like the other game. Yeah, the other game, Frontier versus Greenfield, it was the second inning where Greenfield scored six runs. Yeah, the fourth this time. And that's gonna be in there for ball one. So the score is six to two. And the, the inning that just, they need one more out is all, uh, West Boylston needs here. They they need to get out of this and get wake up their bats. And it's hard when you're in the field for so long to yeah, just get up and be ready to hit, you know. You're getting antsy out there. Batter is Carly Blanchard. And she led off the, she led this inning off with a hit to the pitcher. I think the count's one and one. And Maloney to deliver. Ooh. Nice steal by Lavoine. I think that's the first. It is the first actual steal with a throw down. Yeah, first steal that wasn't a pass ball. And Caitlin Lavoine just, yeah, two outs. That's, yep. I think it's a 2-2 count. It's a 1-2 count, here comes the pitch. Hard hit, fly ball, right center field. Center fielder makes the catch. So they get out of it with Kalen Vine. And I'll quickly recap what just happened in that pass inning. So here's what happened. Carly Blanchard let out the inning off. She got a hit to the pitcher. Mackenzie Pollen had a fly out to right field. And then this is where the bats came alive. Kelsey Richardson double to right field with a double to right field. And that put Carly at third and herself at second. Then Rachel Dodge came at the bat, hit a double to right uh, left center field and got two RBIs. And then Ainsley Flynn got up to bat, hit a triple, and got an RBI to left field. And then Andy Bacala got up, hit a single to left field, and got an RBI. 
and then Amber Bergeron got a single to right field, and then finally it was Ellie Benitez that flew out to the catcher, who uh, I think that was Lucy Allen defensively made that nice, nice catch. And then you had Caitlin Lavoine, who was the ninth, uh, was he was the leadoff man for for Green Wave, and she got a single with two RBIs and a steal. And then Carly Blanchard uh, was the tenth at bat that inning and flew out to center field. So what an inning, or what performance offensively by Green Wave to make it six to two. And uh, West Boylston got to wake up their bats this inning. Uh, hopefully, they 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 got this this fourth inning. It'd be fun to see Boylston just. No, you you definitely want to see them get their bats alive. But again, so, what you said is them sitting out in that field for that amount. Yeah, it's like, definitely harder to come in off a field when you have a team that bats around. The the hottest game I've ever played, it was. Sammy Mullins is the batter. Hard hit fly ball. Nice catch over there by, I think it was Amber Bergeron at first. It was the first baseman. So one pitch, one out. That is not how you want to start the inning. No, it is not. No, it is not. But that's how you want to start the inning for the pitcher. Yeah, but defensively not as the you do. That's gonna bring up again. Oh, nice! Wow! Wow! One pitch, two pitches. Now, could, it, could we see a we have an immaculate pitch? inning going? A three-pitch inning. Um, immaculate. If it, if even one pitch would. Uh, let's see what happens. Well, there nope. you go. There goes the immaculate. There goes the three-pitch inning. Yeah, the three-pitch. <laughs> So the count's 104. Uh, Matty Petro. Oh, I see what I did. strike it's gonna be the count one and two with two gone a good pitcher's count yes sir strike three oh yep and we will go to the bottom of the fifth inning and that was a really quick inning a really quick top of the inning, so. Yeah, yeah, you're totally, yeah, yeah. Uh, Payne Maloney, um, she's gonna have to go back out there with almost no resting time. And yeah, well, it, be, it should be in. 21, and, oh my goodness. So we're going to take a quick break. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. And like I said, it's the mano a mano. Uh, Mackenzie Pollan versus uh, Payne Maloney on the mound. So, high for ball one. And like we said, so a fan mentioned to me that West Boylston, they're mostly made up of juniors, and Maloney, she has one senior, and Maloney has had over 200 strikeouts on the season. So, for Greenfield, that last inning to just to pack on those hits. Yeah, yeah, see, 
and that's gonna uh, uh, make it a one-on-one -on -one count fly ball second nice catch the amazing grab by the short stop yeah wow as if if I don't know if the ca uh, the center fielder would have been able to make it in time. Those, those are she's playing definitely so far one back. of the harder catches to catch. Is the running the running the opposite direction and looking over the shoulder is one of the hardest plays for an outfielder to catch. Yeah. So for an yeah. infielder to do it, it's ten times more impressive. Yeah, running back and making that grab that's impressive. That's gonna bring up now it's gonna bring up Kelsey uh, Richardson, who. Pops up and up and over the stands. Yeah, and she had that double. She had that she had that double last inning that got things really going for Frontier. They're in the Frontier Greenfield. <laughs> oh. I did it now, you did it now. Oh, gosh, now we're done for the day. Yes. <laughs> we are done for the day of calling them Frontier. We're just so used to it. That's gonna be in there for ball one. Evens it up now one and one. And I wonder if at some point, I mean, Maloney kind of is now kind of locked back in. Uh, so, and I don't know who would come in to pitch. If there was ever a pitching change. Nice strike. Swinging strike. So yeah, like I said, she's just locked back in. It's inning, I guess. And all it takes is one, one, one bad, def well, front, yeah, a couple of bad pitches and boom. Yep. Oh, that That's bounced. Foul ball? I think that bounced before it, she hit it. Well, it hit off her and then kept going. It oh. looked like. Looks like it bounced before the plate. Anyone's, anyways, still one two count. And Maloney has a couple of pitches to give, so she can pitch it outside the zone, inside, try to get her to chase. Like just like that, so that was a little high for a pitch. Whew. What a gust of wind too, right about now for. Richardson. I like it. So that's gonna even up the count, two and two for Richardson, and Maloney knows to be careful now with uh, Richardson. Foul tip out of. Uh, this Another is, long yeah. at bat. Yeah. So Richardson, she, all three of her at bats have been uh, long so far. And it's a 2-2 count. She just, anything close she swings at and she fouls it off. Her first one she grounded out, I think. And last one she won with a double, so. She's one for two right now. Oh, she wanted that. Ooh. She Ooh. wanted that pitch. She did, you're right, Alec. Way to lay off, though. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's hard to lay off those, those ones. 3-2, full count. Nobody on. Nobody on, one gone. Here comes the pitch. Foul tip. I think it's an eight pitch at bat right now. At least. Who will win? Will it be the pitcher or the hitter? Uh, so full count. And these, I wonder what her pinch count is at, her pitch count. Ooh, strike three, right down the middle. And I don't think the hitter's gonna like that call. No, but it was almost one of the same spots, maybe a little outside, a little out inside of the zone. Not too sure exactly what happened, but. Two outs now. Batter is Rachel Dodge. Her last at bat, she has a two RBI double to left center field, and she grounded out to the pitcher. So one for two with two RBIs. And we'll see what happens here. As right now, it's two up, two down for Maloney. Cool. She wanted that high pitch. Yep. Hive. High for ball one, uh, er, and now it's a uh, one and one count now. Maloney to deliver, grounder at the third base coach. <laughs> Made yeah. a nice play with his foot. 
Makes the count one and two. Good pitcher's count. And Maloney looking to get another strikeout this inning. Ooh, did not chase. Great eye by Dodge. Well, oh, Greenfield has been very, been very patient with their hitting, and that's what has got them to where they are. Yeah, now. and like last inning, they were sort of uh, swinging at first or second pitches that were just right down the middle, kind of. Uh, which got him those hits. That one's gonna get get through. Base hit to uh, left center field. And with two outs, Rachel Dodge gets it going for Green Wave. And Ainsley Flynn, who had the triple with an RBI to left field, is now up. So man on first with two gone. Flynn is the batter. Maloney to pitch. High for ball one. Uh, I really wonder what uh, Payne Maloney's pinch count is at because she's it's gotta be way up there right now. With all, yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you have people that have, you know, when it's a full count, 2-2 two -two count, and they foul all, a bunch of them off, and they're just in the zone. It's, it's, and she's not, she's only walked one, one or two batters, so. She only has one walk on the day, so. Hard hit, fly ball, that's gonna drop in there for a hit. And taking out the third is Dodge, she slides in there. And good job, heads up base running by Flynn. Wow, Greenfield having fun with two right now. So Greenfield's doing just like they did last last state's playoff game. Yep. They're they're getting their hits and they're finding the gaps. Yep. This is you exact, find the gaps. Yep. You you can't they can't do anything about it. And know what you need to do if you're defensively. You need to shift your right and left fielder. D depending on the batter, so there's not much of a gap in any position. And then it's more likely for it to be caught, but you never know. So after two back-to-back -back hits by Rachel Dodge and Ainsley Flynn, Anna Bacall is the batter, and she fouls that one off. Okay. If Anna Bacala gets on, Amber Bergeron will be the batter. Bacala, her last at bat had a single to left field with an RBI. Another foul tip. And you gotta think, at some point, will Maloney just keep going back out there and even if she has like a, in the hundreds for the pitch count? It all depends. It depends if they can come out and get their bats waking up. Yeah. Grounder back to the pitcher. That's going to, she's got to beat it out. Great stretch over there by the first baseman. That was the shorts. Yeah. Riley Egan. So shortstop to first play. And that ends what could have been two left on base uh, by Rachel Dodge and Angel Flynn. So great to. Great defensive inning by um, West Boylston. So we will go to the top of the sixth inning. Score is six to two. Green Wave with the lead. You're watching Frontier. Community access help. Payne Maloney, she's got to get it going here for West Boylston. Mono y mano. Welcome back. So, with that. That one's in the dirt, so it's going to even up the count one and one. 
Yep, one and one, no outs, and Faye Maloney is the batter. And again, like we said, we we're talking about it off air. For one second. Uh, yeah, this is this is only a third of bat. So defensively, other than that first inning, Green Wave has been on top. That's gonna be in there for strike two. She did not that look like she liked that pitch call. Yeah, I mean, it was a little low for her and inside, so no one likes that kind of call. Grounder, ooh, nice diving attempt. That'll get through. So Peyton Maloney gets her team going in the top of the sixth inning. She leads it off with a hit, so. And that time Maloney gets a hit, so she's two for three on the night. And she'll be pinch running for Her sister will so it'll run be for Riley her. running for her. Yeah, Riley Maloney. Hard hit, fly ball, second base. Nice catch. So that, when that when a fly ball happens, that's when you get under the ball. Yes. And that's why I always swing with a downward swing, and I would, if anything, I would ground it out and try to beat it out because of my speed. Or so you were a slapper. Yeah. You slapped the ball. Yep. So one gone, and counts one and zero. Oh. The batter will be Kaylin Flaberty. 2 0 count. One gone. Poland to deliver. Grounder over to third. Double play in, in. Yep. They'll get one. They won't get the other, though. So they get the good job of getting the lead runner. And that was over at third. That was Carly Blanchard making that play happen. Well, you know, Greenfield now doing a good job defensively. Routine double play, got the at least the lead runner. You can't ask much more out of this yeah. inning either. That, yeah, you really can, Alec. You're totally right. They're also doing a good job of making it so the runners aren't advancing on steals. Yeah. I don't think Boylston has... They've had one or two pass balls that, you know, so, yeah. That's going to be in there for a ball. And the one thing I've noticed is right there, as you just saw, is Richardson's doing a good job. She doesn't stand up or anything. She just catches and gets it right oh, back to the oh pitcher. Oh, yeah, she's getting it as quick as possible back into that circle because I believe that the rule is that as long as the ball's in the circle. Nice, easy play. The oh! And she'll take out the third. She's gonna have to get down. Oh! Good heads up base running, but you know, I think when she take, took off the third and it wasn't much of a, uh, a, a error, you know, made it a really close play at well, third. It's, it's her slide. Her yeah. slide knocked the ball out. Oh. And that's why, and that's why they tell you the slide in the second. Even if you think you're going to be out, break up the throw to first. Yep. And that slide into second made it so she actually broke up the play at her base. Yep. So that will be Greenfield's, I believe, first error of the game. And that's going to make it a uh, two out man on second and third. Hit or foul tip. I believe it is a 2 or 0 2 count. Payoff pitch. Poland to deliver. So 1 2 count now. And Poland can do what she do as she is. Do what she wants with it, is what I meant to say. Oh! 
but it hit the net. So it was a foul tip. I didn't, I, from my point of view, it just looked like it was straight up, and then I saw it hit the net, so. You got Good. all excited. Yeah. One, two count. Poland, two deliver. Make the. Off the net again. <laughs> Kelsey just doing a good job of catching those, even though they're not in, they're not in play technically. So still one two count, and it's a five pitch at bat. Poland to deliver once more. Strike, Strike three. three look in. Way to get out of it herself by Poland. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. It is the bottom of the sixth inning. Greenfield in the state final. Up 6-2. It's going to be high for a ball. I believe it's 2-0. And the batter's Amber Bergeron. And her last at bat, she had a single to right field. High fly ball, that one's gonna be cool. Caught, but almost a collision. Yep. So almost, almost the second baseman and third baseman, right? Almost collided there, but she could have communication. Well, it would have been the third baseman and shortstop that collided. And Brielle Whitello. She's going to be pinch hitting for uh, Ellie Benetiz, and she'll go into right field. And like, yeah, Niner, number nine. Favorite number in baseball, Ted Williams. I think that's going to even up the count one and one. And only one gone. So one's across the board. Fly ball, that's gonna go back to the pitcher. She'll take it herself. Good job by Maloney. Two back-to-back pop-ups. No, nope. they come out with good defense this inning and we'll see if, if they get out of this inning, if they can come back with the bat to make it a closer game. Yeah. They did, they, it's gonna all come down to this, uh, the top of the seventh inning, it looks like. Uh, but this inning's not quite over yet, as Caitlin Voin is one for three on the night with a steal and two RBIs. Also, Greenfield has loved the two out situations all day. They yep. have got multiple hits in it, so. So Lavoin, the leadoff gal, as you could put it. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit, fly ball. That one's going to drop. Nice base hit by Lavoine. She gets things going with two outs. And just like Alex said, Greenfield keeping things rolling. Single center field for Lavoine. Carly Blanchard, or Blanchard is up to bat. She is... Uh, she was the one that started that big fourth inning for the Wave. And she's also one for three. Oof, swing and a miss. You know, nice level cut, though. You can't be mad about that swing. No, not at all. Just got to keep your... Well, her head was... You just got to... She was a little late. Yeah, she just, she just missed time to yeah, swing. Yeah, it, it was it. literally did like a... Yeah, you're right. Yep. There you go, she's on it that time. Just Two a little old. out in front. Yep. 0-2 count for Blanchard. So, we'll see if Carly can keep the wave rolling in the bottom of the sixth inning here, try to tack on a couple more insurance runs. And she's doing just a good job of keeping it alive. And she's just, She's just under the, her swing is under the ball and that's why it's fouling off. It's 
Still no two count. Nice hit. And that's going to... Nice catch over there by second base. That was Matty. Yeah, Matty Petro. So fly out to second base will end the, the sixth inning. So you go be, to the top of the seventh. It would be really interesting to see how they come out because, again, they're the away team. Yeah, yeah. So they, yeah. they go three and out here. It's done. Yep, yep. So top, we're going to go to the top of the seventh inning. Score 6-2. Green Wave in the rest of the map. State Division 5 final. Right Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We are in the top of the seventh inning. It's six to two, Green Wave on top. Grounder over to third. She's gonna make the play. What a play! I missed it too. What a play by the third baseman to feel it and then th scoop it up, throw it over to first. I can describe it, but. What a play. Oh my God, I was not ready for that one. I thought it was foul. It yep. literally looked foul. She just stopped it before it went out past that foul line. And that'll bring up Zoe Chilla, or Sammy Mullins, foul and that, And now Greenfield's only down to two outs instead of three. Two more and they'll be uh, state's uh, champs. Yeah. So third base to first, and now Sammy Mullins. Sammy Mullins is flew out to uh, flew out. She's over two right now, but she needs to lock in. When the season's on the at line, the, at this point, every bat is important. Yeah. You get up there, you get in a good hitter count, and you you work it. Oh. And and that one's gonna be a swing and a miss, a foul tip, or swing and a miss. It's a foul tip, I, I'm, I think. Um, so one two count, and you know, Alec uh, Mackenzie Pullen, she's just looked great other than that first inning. And just, just like last game, she's doing an amazing job, switching up location, speed. You can't do much more no. than what she has. And I'm I I. I I'm gonna go out of limb and say she's a junior, maybe? I, I'll have to read into that, but that one's in the dirt. So Sammy Mullen's doing a great job of waiting for a pitch that's in the zone and not, you know, swinging at the bad ones. And the payoff pitch, full count. Del delivered, grounder, third base, over to first. Nice play. Now they're just down to one. Ainsley Flynn over there making two back-to-back -back scoops. This is gonna be the I I wouldn't be surprised if you don't hear if you hear the crowd this whole at back because this is the final out that Greenfield needs to take it. Yeah. So this is the final out, everyone, or it could be. That one's gonna be low for ball one. Well, what six to two? They have to. They have to. Yeah, yeah. They have to score four runs on. Uh, they need a grand slam, basically. That one, shortstop, gets through. I would not charge an error on that one. I don't know. She did a beautiful do job, just trying to dive to knock it down. And over there, at shortstop trying to make the play. Uh, Oh, whoops. It was Carly Blanchard with the two nice plays at third, and, and shortstop is Ainsley Flynn. Or maybe, a, anyways, uh, Shaman Luxtra keeping her team alive. There's, nice hit, right, left field makes a catch! And that's game. That'll end it. Green Wave wins the state championship. Just like that, It'll six to two. Be. 
You know, at first, you know, they had that rough second. Was it the second or first inning? They had a rough second. It was that rough first inning. So they had that rough first inning, came back defensively, and did what they have done all year. Yeah. And Green Wave, state champs. State champs and first seed through this playoffs also. Yeah. They won Western Mass, they won states. Great job by Green Wave. So, there will be a little ceremony here, and honestly, this is what you like to see. Good sportsmanship, two good teams face, uh, faced off here today. And I'll just do a quick recap of the game. Uh, quick recap. Uh, on both sides. So, quickly go down through as they're still celebrating, obviously. I mean, it's very impressive uh, that they won that game. Um, we'll do the state store, maybe then the recap. Or we're going to do a recap. Do a quick recap right now. Kane Levine, two for two, two RBIs, or two for four, two RBIs with a steal in there. Two singles. Carly Blanchard hit the. Uh, she was one for four and got a hit to the pitcher. Mackenzie Pollen, who pitched for uh, front, uh, Green Wave, she had a double to right field. So she went, I think it was 0 for 2 because it's an error, but we'll call it 1 for 3. Why not? Kelsey Richardson, double to right field, which got things kind of going, rolling in the that fourth inning. Rachel Dodge, double to left center field, two RBIs, 2 for 3. Ainsley Flynn, triple RBI left field, hit to center field. She goes 2 for 3. Anna Bacala, single to left field RBI. She goes one for three. Amber Bergeron gets a walk, single to right field, and she goes one for two. Uh, Ella Benitez, 0 for three. Bria Widello, uh, uh, or no, yeah, Bria Widello, 0 for one. Uh, made that nice catch, though, in left field. On the other side, there was a walk. Uh, First inning is when, I think it was uh, either Lucy Allen or Payne Maloney got an RBI. She went two for three, Maloney. Maddie Petro went 0 oh for two with a walk. And other than that, couple, not many hits in there for, there's one, two, I'd say three hits and one walk for West Boylson. So, great pitching and defensively game by Green Wave. And you may notice that team team is wearing their silver bows in honor of someone very special to them, their coach, Dr. Now, would you please direct your attention to the defensive Uh, so, ceremony and then, uh, uh, Greenfield comes out on top of the state final, uh, six to two, for the first ever state champion for Greenfield and their first ever trophy. And what a way to win it! Final score again, six to two. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. It was the duo today with the help of Murphy, um, Kevin Murphy, setting up Al, uh, Alec Echo and Tom Albert. See you guys in, uh, in the fall.